Hello and welcome to this edition of the Halcyon Show. My name is Lorne Risley. I'm going to be your host for this episode of rather a kind of a different edition of the Halcyon Show. This is going to be a new series that I'm going to do. Uh, for the longest time I've resisted doing Let's Plays for a number of different reasons. Um, on this occasion I thought I would uh, give people something a little bit different because two reasons. Number one, I'm starting to get more keys than I have time to review. Like I said, I'm going to aim for about two videos a week in terms of proper reviews. But I have a lot of games that I want to get through and I also want to continue to keep new games flowing in. I want to try and keep pace with new releases. So, unfortunately, compromises have to be made. There's going to be a few games that I'm not going to get a chance to complete. There's going to be a few games that I don't get a chance to get hands-on time with. Uh, to the extent that I feel comfortable doing a proper review. But, at the same time, I want to try and cover at least as many, if not all, of the games that I get keys for in some form or fashion. So on this occasion, I decided to pick up a game that I want. I, I know I want to give some coverage to, but I know I'm probably not going to get time to review properly. A game called Detonation by Weird Walk, uh, published and developed by Weird Walk. Uh, the game synopsis is: Escape from an alien spaceship full of secrets. Challenging mashup of old school action adventure gameplay with puzzle and rhythm elements, retro CJ inspired color scheme, banging chip tune soundtrack. Uh, there's also a free version of this game as well via uh, the browser on your PC, weirdwalk.itch.io slash detonation. Uh, you can also uh, purchase it on Steam at the moment for 79 pence or 99 cents in American. So, I'm going to count in because up until this point you won't have seen it. So 3, 2 and 1 and now we are in game. There we are. And as you can see, the game is reasonably easy to control. You've got a 16-bit setup. You've got the character who's moving around a little circle here. Uh, there he is. Look at him. Look at him. This happy little face. Uh, and the idea is that you just got to traverse the ship. Now, this is pitched as a seriously hard game. Space bar, directional buttons, super easy. Uh, very simple motif, purple throughout the ship. Uh, everything is programmed to a rhythm. As you can see here, a lot of these robots move, and it's really easy to die. See that one there? They cross paths. They cross paths, you don't. Um, you basically die in one hit in this game. So you've got to be careful. You've got to time your runs very carefully if you are going to get these little stars right here. These are collectibles, and one of the achievements of the game is to be able to get all of them. See? There you go. I got cocky. And there you go. There's the big space bar to die again. And every time you die, you hit that space bar, and you start right from the beginning. The only caveat to that is... Any doors that you've unlocked here, like I say, using the PC for instance, stay open. On the and again, the key with this game is timing. So you've got to get past, you've got to get through as quickly as possible. You've got to learn the patterns of the robots. Follow them as closely as you can. And then once you've made your move to the next room, see? Silly old me. But you do make progress. Again, the door stays open this time. So now I can just make my move to the door if I want to. Nice little touch, obviously, as you can see there. Towards the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, the middle of the screen. It's my dead carcass. Just again, another slight reminder of all the times that you failed. Not all dissimilar to She Wants Me Dead, the uh, tombstone mechanic. So this is one of the more challenging sections that I've struggled to get past. And I know that I've not really shown you a tremendous amount about this game so far. But honestly, so far, it's been a real struggle getting through this game. Not too sure how you get that star. Oh, look at that. It's a little, oh, it's a little tunnel. Isn't that lovely? But I got a star. How cool is that? Um, overall, the game's des uh, design is pretty good. I like the aesthetics. The responsiveness of the controls is actually really good. See, so look, moving here quickly here. Just get out of the way. Nice and easy. Oh, ah, I got caught. Silly old me. But that's my fault. And again, one of the things that I criticize a lot of games for is when the controls feel like they're fighting you. Like, the mistakes that you're making are the game's not yours. There's nothing more frustrating than playing a game and feeling... Oh, I didn't make that mistake. The game did. And in this game, I have to admit, even though it's it's very challenging, this game, there's no doubt about that. See, look, I've got to make this move now as quickly as possible. No, he's... Ah, he got away with it. It's 
not beyond the realm of possibility to be able to figure it out. That's the important thing. Oh, see, look. Ah, see, I wanted to make the move there. So, because I've got my eyes on the star, we're going to make a jump for it here. Ready? Ready, 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 ready. And we go. And we go. And as quickly as possible. And we get back as quickly as possible. Bang. Got the star. Now we're going to go right. And there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. So there's a safe part here. And there's, there's going to be parts of the map that you're going to be safe. In this instance, there's going to be the middle bit here. Nice and easy. Boom. In and out. Oh, ah, but there you go, you see? You've got to be careful. And I got to start all over again. So as you can see, this game is challenging because you've got to remember the patterns. You've got to remember the timing and not get too overzealous like I am. I'm not the most patient player in the world. It's simplistic in its controls. But here's the thing. It is, a, it is really good fun. Because you have these very close moments like that oh like that see it's one of those things you just got to be careful you got to keep on your toes and so long as you keep your eyes on the prize and not only on the step but the next step after that and take your breaths when you need to this game is a lot of fun I like the little touches about the game, for instance. Ah, look at that again. Uh, like I was just about to mention, the stars in the background, the spaceship motif is always reminding you that you're in space. Uh, although not the focal point. As I was about to say before, before I got sidetracked, the design of the game is pretty nifty. I like how the enemies have different looks, albeit... Uh, one small criticism I might have is that they don't that the enemy type isn't denoted by their speed. So the fact that they're different designs doesn't necessarily mean that they're different speeds. Uh, that'd be nice to be able to look at to get an idea of whether or not you're going to die or not. Uh, sorry, rather whether or not you, you've got time on your side or not to be able to catch up to these things. Ah, oh, dearie me. If you're not a fan of repetitive gameplay, this game isn't for you, 100%. It's one of the things that initially made me go a bit, ooh, I'm not sure. Because you've got to, you've got to memorize a lot of things. But if you're a fan of games that reward you for patience, timing, execution, noticing the patterns, noticing the framework of a level, and overall it's just well designed. I like the uh, a lot of the maps. The maps uh, so far, each scene feels different, feels unique. Each trap feels like it's got slightly different wrinkle to it. You can you can apply different tactics there. You can be an idiot like I am and sneak up on them. No, so even the knowledge that they. So this is where I died twice. So I now I need to see: is there a gap? There is a gap, but oh, that guy's really on it. There we go. Ah! Now here's the problem: I don't know where the exit is. If you're wondering why I've uh, cut twice in this video, it's very simple. This is the first edition of this show, and as a result, there's some teething problems. I left my goddamn internet on, and people keep messaging me! How dare you show you care. What's wrong with you people? But it's okay, so long as you're patient! Ah, uh, oh, dearie me. It is frustrating, this game. It can be frustrating. But the idea is that you keep with it. Always and forever. Keep with this game. I promise you it will reward you. But as you can see, there's not there's not a tremendous amount to really touch on in terms of distinguishing features of this game. That's probably a criticism I would level against it. Um, let's have a think. So let's, let's think of some things that I don't like about this game. Just to, get, to keep things all fair and balanced. I don't like how the character models don't do a tremendous amount more than just moving across in general directions. That's a little bit, a little bit boring, I will grant you that. Um, I suppose it's not the easiest game to distinguish between the features. Uh, the timing is hard to get at times. Let's see where this guy moves. I haven't seen where he moves yet. No! Ah! Ah, there you go. You see, I snuck up behind you. Yes. Yes, you didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, God, there's only one way for him to go! Ah! 
damn it. But that, in essence, is the game. You progress through the levels. It's unforgiving. You've always got to start from this. You you would come to know this area very, very well. Pain in the ass level that it is. But I like this game. It's a shame that I'm not going to get more time with it. Um, purely because there's nothing really game-breakingly wrong with it, but there's nothing earth-shatteringly amazing about it. Uh, the controls are simple, responsive. It's overall got a unique aesthetic just because it's the kind of game that Prince would really dig, for obvious reasons. Uh, the soundtrack is okay, nothing amazing. Um, it's a little bit repetitive, and I would argue that in a game like this, to really cut down on the tedium factor, you need to focus on the little things that people are going to notice over and over again. Like the soundtrack. Um, and again, just add a couple of other little features, just nice little touches. Notice it, um, details in the backgrounds that might get people interested. Uh, so it's just a cascade of my dead, lifeless corpse now. How many times have I died in here? Three, four times here. Now, here's the question, because I know people are kind of probably going to be screaming at the screen at me now. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I pressed the thing. Is it one of these doors that I'm supposed to... Ah, I think it's... It's either left or right I'm supposed to go. Interesting. Ah! But it is a challenge, this game. And that's probably the best compliment I can pay it. It is a significant challenge. Once you get your timing down, it's not too bad. Ooh, there's someone guarding this one. Naughty, naughty. But look at, I mean, just look at that for a second. Look at how complex and convoluted that looks. That means I'm going to get to that PC at the top near the middle. And then I imagine that that robot's going to move. And then you've got to get to the other PC. But look at that in the middle. I've got to follow them everywhere, have I? Ah! But there you go. That was Detonation. Um, I like this game. I would probably recommend it, especially for the price point. I mean, that's nothing. For a buck like this, uh, it's mechanically sound. As you've seen, That there's, there's literally no bugs and glitches. It's very well put together. Uh, it's certainly a unique aesthetic. Um, there might be some little details that I would add. For instance, I know just to add a little bit of insult into the injury, uh, maybe a death counter in the bottom right-hand corner. A timer, maybe. I don't know if this game ultimately has a high score or a time or something along those lines, but maybe something to give a bit of a competitive edge to the community element. A lot of these games lack that. I do concede the fact that I, I rag on a lot of games for not having that element, but I think in these types of games where it's simplistic, you need that element to keep the replayability high. I get that it's a challenge and I get that this game is going to appeal to the kind of gamer that is looking to ace this in one hit or collect all the stars in one go. Uh, I, I, as you can see, I simply don't have the gaming talent in order to do that. So it's difficult for me to recommend to a gamer like me, a more casual gamer, without having another character to go for, which is, okay, well, I might have died a million times, but I died a million times quicker than everybody else, or over less time than everybody else. But yeah, so, Detonation by Weird Talk. Weird Walk, my apologies. Developed and published by Weird Walk. What do you think? Would you want to see a review of this game in full? It'd just be a lot of me dying, but more than happy to do a full review if people would uh, enjoy seeing it. But let's see. Weird Walk. What do you think? You developed the game. I imagine you, you're quite fond of it. Ah! I think what's impressive about this game, by the way, just one last little point, is the fact that it really does retain all of the... Like, literally every tile, I imagine, is probably going to be just filled with just my dead corpse. Um, and maybe other, one other thing, maybe make the character model a bit more distinctive. Maybe a different colour to the rest of the map. Uh, a slightly more intricate design. I mean, some of the enemies are more intricate than the design of the quote-unquote hero here. Just to make him a bit more distinctive. Make him a focal point. Why not? Game's simple. Doesn't have much in the way of a narrative. Make him a make him a character. 
Why not? Oh my word. Ah, I, I thought I fluked it there. But there we go, I think that's a good note to end on. So thank you very much for watching this edition of The Halcyon Show, or in this case, Too Late to Look! Uh, I've been your host, Lauren Risley. Please follow me on Twitter. I'm usually uh, haranguing uh, abusive people over there. Uh, apologies for the cuts in the gameplay and the audio. Again, my setup isn't exactly what it needs to be. I need to remember that my antisocial nature propels me towards gaming. And whenever people try to make contact with me, I need to cut that off at the... Cut that off at the knees. Uh, please be sure to check out some of the content we're producing recently, including a lot of the other content that a lot of the game, um, uh, a lot of the content that I see uh, being posted on YouTube, including a new. Uh, huh, this is the problem. I've said everyone else's channel so many million, millions of times, I forget the new ones. Uh, it's entertainment. Nerdtainment, something along those lines. Let me get the proper name, it'll be in the description going forward. I'd appreciate if you go and check out their channel as well. Also, feel free to go check me out over on the Defunct Games channel, where we do uh, Defunct Decides and quizzes and other things like that, so I'd appreciate if you go and support what he's doing over there. In the meantime, though, thank you very much again for once again for watching. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Halcyon Show. <laughs>